I'm joined now by the Shadow Health Secretary, Jonathan Ashworth. Thank you for being with us. So, uh, what did you make of what the Health Secretary had to say? I thought it was a rather complacent presentation, frankly. Look, we're in a very serious situation now with the levels of COVID infections in the community, which is obviously knocking on to hospitalisations and sadly deaths. Government ministers have talked about our wall of defence being vaccination. Well, our wall of defence is beginning to crumble because the booster programme is stalling. On current trends, we won't complete that programme until spring of next year. That's simply unacceptable. We've only vaccinated around 15% of our younger people. And, of course, the infections are concentrated at the moment in, in school children. I think over the last three weeks, we've seen around 10,000 infections a day amongst children. Of course, the third doses for the immunosuppressed is stalling, and charities have called it uh, chaotic. And the flu vaccine, which we also need to really ramp up, is running at around 36% for over 65s. I wanted to hear from ministers how they were going to get a grip of this stalling vaccination programme. Well, to be fair, because they have said... To, well, to, to be fair, he said they were going to accelerate uh, the booster programme for the elderly and the vulnerable. I mean, what would Labour be doing that the government isn't? Sort of rushing to another lockdown? Most certainly not. Nobody wants to go back to the dark days of lockdowns, and nor do we want to see the Prime Minister impose lockdowns on places like Bolton, Burnley, Bury and Leicester, my own, which he did... Uh, uh, in, the, in the previous stages of this pandemic. What would Labour do? Well, first of all, we need a big ambition. We should be doing 500,000 booster jabs a day. We're nowhere near that. We should have a target to, com to, to do a larger proportion of our children by the 1st of December. Who, who would be doing it? That. Who, who would be doing it? Well, because the GPs, as we know, are, um, have a considerable burden. They haven't got time to do it. Who would be doing it? Community pharmacy, for a start. That's what we should be doing. We should be mobilising some of the infrastructure we used earlier on in our vaccination campaign. So let's get retired clinicians, retired medic, medics back doing vaccination. One of the problems with the school vaccination programme is that we've seen over 800 school nurses cut under the Tories these last 10 years. But why aren't we using retired school nurses, retired nurses to come and do those vaccinations in schools and at walking centres? We need more pop-up centres at mosques, at churches, in churches, in temples, like we've had in the past. We have done this before. I don't understand why we're not doing it now do, do you think, and why we're not you... targeting 500,000 jabs a day in order to galvanise our vaccination right. campaign at right. this stage. Right. Do you think right. the pressures on the NHS are unsustainable? I think, uh, I think the pressures on the, under the NHS are immense at the moment, and I was... I, I, I was frankly shocked that the uh, health secretary was so casual in dismissing them, frankly. We've seen... Look, the other day we had a, a child with mental health problems waiting 48 hours for a bed in Ipswich. We've had patients in Preston waiting over 40 hours. We've got people... We've got ambulances backed up outside hospitals. And, of course, this is before we hit the very coldest winter months. Okay. So the NHS is not just under pressure, it's under water. So we do, we do need to ramp up this vaccination programme in order to relieve the COVID pressures on hospital beds. OK, John Ashworth, uh, Ashworth I appreciate your time. Thanks very much.